decided for the holiday to do a few looks using some palettes and today I'm using two palettes by Juvia's Place. I'm using the Tribe and also the Warrior 2 palette. The Warrior 2 palette is all matte shades and these are the shades. Very large pans, highly pigmented colors and also some very good transition and crease shades in there. And I'm starting out with my uh, face application already done using my Too Faced uh, foundation and concealer. And I'm starting out with the Tribe palette. This is the palette. Uh, it's As you can see, it's a green theme. And I'm not going to pronounce the names, but this is a more of a, like a, a mustard type color. And I'm just going to use that as a transition shade. And I'm blending that out with a Morphe 504 blending brush. And I'm just going back and forth with windshield wiper motions. Next in my crease, I'm going into the Warrior 2 palette and I'm using this uh, pinky mauve shade with a Morphe E25 blending brush and I'm just going to add that to my crease. <music> I do go back and forth between the Warrior and the Tri palette as you can see as I change brushes with that mustard shade and that pink shade. So now I'm just going to deepen up my um, outer V with this very deep maroon shade and I'm just going to add that to the outer V and I'm not going to bring it all the way in just to the middle portion of my eye and then drag it down. And I'm using a Morphe 433 blending brush. And I'm just going back and forth with the mustard shade and also that pinky mauve shade back and forth blending. And now I'm cutting my crease using my Too Faced concealer. And for my lid shade, I'm using uh, this green eyeshadow here. It's very metallic, and I'm just going to add that to my lid uh, with a M224 brush by Morphe. <laughs> Now this shade is gorgeous in the pan and I did have to build it up to get uh, my desired opacity and I went in quite a few times as you can see. I never wet the brush but I did go back in quite a few times to get the um, pigmentation, well not pigmentation but the, the darkness that I was looking for. So now I'm mixing this uh, burgundy and this brown shade from the Warrior 2 palette and this is, um, I'm not sure the number of this brush but it is a pencil brush by Morphe and I'm just going to use the two shades just to deepen up the outer V of my eye. And now I'm using this um, metallic shade from the Tri palette just on the inner portion of my eye just to give me a little brightness. 
and how could it be holiday without glitter liner and I'm using a glitter liner from Amazon just random liner So my granddaughter decided to make an appearance in my video. She just loves makeup just as much as her Nana and every time I'm doing makeup she wants to come and sit in my lap. So uh, <laughs> that is that. But um, okay so as for lips I'm lining my lips with the uh, MAC Chestnut Lip Liner. And for my lipstick, I am using the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Queen Bee. Because I have such a bold eye with those um, really out there colors, and I mean, it's holiday glam, so what would holiday be without red and green and gold? So I added that to my lids, and I decided to do a more of a, a neutral look for my lips. So. I used the Queen Bee and then I decided to add a little bit of gloss and the gloss that I'm using is from Colourpop from the Makeup Shayla collection and it is called Neat Freak. I guess we can call this a Juvia's Place Holiday Glam. So I'm using my uh, Juvia's Place The Heroin Glow number one and th this is really really beautiful packaging. It's in this round container and I'm just adding that to every place that I would like to highlight. My cheeks, my nose, the bridge of my nose and I did like the fact that when I use my finger it's more pigmented and I'm also going to highlight um, the rest of my face as well with my finger because I think that this this is a baked highlighter and it shows more pigmented when you use your fingers and then I just blend it out with my fan brush and that is it that is the final look I hope that you enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe click the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever i upload new videos and just to zoom you in so you can get a close-up of that eye look i appreciate you all for watching and i will see you in the next video